So the last thing I wanna do in this video series is just get Redis up and running. And that's really easy. We're just gonna install Redis server, which is the package name to get for Redis. And that'll install it. And then it's basically instantly usable. The only thing I'm gonna show you in here is some configuration for it quick. So we'll edit Etsy, Redis, and then the redis.conf file. And in here, I'm just gonna look for the word bind. And we'll see that this, just like MySQL, is just bound to the local host network. I don't think this does any Unix socket. It's commented out here, so it's not listening on a Unix socket also. Just the network here, 127001. And you can add other networks as well just by having a space and another IP address. I'm not gonna do that in this case. We'll just keep it at local host. I just wanted to show you that it is there. So next, we can edit our myapp.m file and tell it to use Redis. So I'm actually going to use it both for the cache driver and as a session driver, just because I like using Redis for that as well, since it's already there. And then we just set Redis stuff, which is actually preset for us for a local connection. So that's really all set as well. Now we are going to hit one error here because we need the Predis library. So the only thing you need to do there for your application is to add that. So I'm going to do Composer require Predis slash Predis. That'll add it and get that um, a composer dependency that is required up and running in our application, and then we should be all set. All right, that's there. We'll head back over here and refresh, and we see that it is up and running, and it is using Redis. Now, the last thing I want to show you is that if you wanted to get a newer version of Redis, I could have added this repository, the add app repository command dash Y in the PPA Chris Leah Redis server. And if you add that, you can do sudo app get update to let the server know that there's some new packages available. And I believe if I just go ahead and install this over the existing one, it'll update it for us. So updates um, with the apt package manager are really just the install command again. There's no update specific configuration. So this will do it. It's um, oops, Redis update is obviously the wrong thing. Redis server in this case and it'll go ahead and update that for us. So if you ever need to update your Redis server as well, it's pretty much just that easy. And that's it. Redis is really one of the easiest technologies to use when it's just on one server and you're not clustering it. It's really a great cache and also good for things like session saving, session management, so you're not saving that as files on the disk.